touchdown! They bring... Hey, what's up, guys? My name's Kevin. Welcome to the channel. On today's episode, we're having the first ever cryptocurrency fantasy draft. Yep, think of, of an NFL football draft, but with cryptocurrencies and their NFL player equivalent. Let's go ahead and get started. With the first pick in the 2021 for cryptocurrency fantasy draft, we're taking Bitcoin. I know, I know what you're thinking, right? Bitcoin had a rough month. But what about the past year return for Bitcoin, right? It's been pretty consistent return. And y'all don't overthink this. Bitcoin's a deflationary asset. Think of Bitcoin as digital gold, right? It's a store of value. It's not necessarily a currency. There's only about 21 million coins that's gonna be created and about 17 to 18 million of those coins have already been made. So don't overthink this. Take Bitcoin as your first overall pick. The NFL comparison I could think of would be like a Christian McCaffrey, an all-around running back. Yeah, he had a rough year last year, but overall, he's going to get you consistent points. He's a workhorse RB1. So Bitcoin, first overall pick, and the NFL comparison would be like a Christian McCaffrey. With the number two overall pick, pick we're going to be going with Ethereum, right? And it's NFL comparison, I'd say it's like a Dalvin Cook, right? Look at Dalvin Cook's numbers from last year, worthy of going first overall. Ethereum was founded by Vitalik Buterin. It's a smart contract platform that allows users to build things such as NFTs, non-fungible tokens. Uh, think of uh, NFTs such as like online collectibles, like you got a digital certificate that's stored on the Ethereum blockchain. Ethereum also allows users to uh, do decentralized finance, which is basically like online banking on your phone, right? Now, while Ethereum's market cap is less than Bitcoin's, Ethereum's year return is actually higher than Bitcoin's. Um, because of Ethereum's real world use cases, some are even saying Ethereum could overtake Bitcoin in the number one spot. With the third pick, we're going with Cardano. This is one that's really special to me because I have a very large position in Cardano. And honestly, it could have went one overall because of the potential. Cardano was founded by Charles Hawkinson. Um, I know he looks 50, but he's actually 33 years old and a brilliant mathematician. Charles Hawkinson was actually one of the founders of Ethereum. He was a co-founder with Vitalik Buterin. Hawkinson realized a lot of the problems with Ethereum and decided to start over from scratch and build Cardano. Um, Cardano is actually a proof of stake blockchain, which is uh, a lot more energy efficient than a proof of work uh, blockchain, such as Bitcoin, right? Cardano is solving a lot of real world problems. And what Cardano is going to be able to do is bring banking to the unbanked. It's going to be able to bring voting systems, uh, school records can be stored on a blockchain, uh, IDs. So basically, Cardano is going to take a third world country like Ethiopia and bring it up into the first world. I would recommend that you go check out some videos of Charles Hawkinson, his interviews. You can see how much of a selfless man he is and how passionate he is for Cardano. Now, the uh, NFL comparison, I'd probably say Patrick Mahomes. I know you're thinking that's a little high for a quarterback to go three overall, but Patrick Mahomes is once in a generation uh, talent. I would never take a quarterback third overall. But in this case, um, that was the closest player I could think that was worthy of being Cardano because it has so much upside. It's basically Ethereum with none of the problems. Also guys, according to my sources, there's some really big names such as Mark Cuban and Elon Musk looking heavily at Cardano as well. Another reason to be excited about Cardano. The fourth pick. I'm going with Polkadot. Polkadot was founded by Gavin Wood. Gavin Wood was actually a co-founder of Ethereum as well. And when he built Polkadot, he didn't necessarily want to be the Ethereum killer like some of these other blockchains. Uh, Gavin Wood's focus was interoperability. Basically what that means is all these different blockchains such as Ethereum, Cardano, Polkadot, that they can all communicate. So he's focused on interoperability by building what's called parachains, right? These parachains connect all the chains together. Think of Polkadot like the railroad of blockchains, right? It's connecting all of them together. It's a really cool project. The NFL comparison, I'd say Derrick Henry. The reason why I say Derrick Henry is it's a stretch, but um, Derrick Henry coach is Mike Vrabel. Mike Vrabel uh, played for the Patriots and their head coach was, you know, the genius Bill Belichick. So uh, Gavin Wood learned under Ethereum's creator, Vitalik Buterin, to create Polkadot. So Polkadot, fourth overall, NFL comparison, Derrick Henry. With the fifth pick. We're going with Ripple, XRP. 
It's NFL comparison would be, I'd say, Nick Chubb. Ripple's actually in a little trouble with the SEC right now. They're involved in a big lawsuit, but it is looking like they're going to win. And Nick Chubb looks like he got himself in a little legal trouble as well early in his career. What XRP really is trying to do, it's acting as a currency converter. Think of it like how money grams and transferring money being really slow. Uh, XRP seems to solve that problem by offering liquidity. Basically, it can transfer money, you know, currency transfers instantaneously instead of having to wait. Uh, the traditional method to transfer currency is slow and outdated. XRP actually solves that issue. With the sixth pick is Binance Coin. Binance Coin is a huge project. Honestly, I don't even know much about it because we're not allowed to use Binance. Uh, Binance's exchange in the United States. I'm not even sure why, uh, but the Binance exchange is the largest crypto exchange in the world. So a lot of reason to get excited about Binance. The NFL comparison, I would compare Binance uh, coin to probably DeAndre Hopkins. And in like a PPR league, it's like, you know, he's the first receiver off the board. You really wanted a running back, but um, you know, you just kind of had to pick him at that spot. It's a value pick. So Binance coin is a big project but um, I'm not too exactly thrilled about this. With the seventh pick. Dogecoin. This was a controversial one for me because I'm not a big fan of the Dogecoin. It's real popular with more of the college Chad types. Um, now, Dogecoin's NFL comparison, I'd say it would be like a Saquon Barkley because Saquon's like Saquon, you know, appeal, but when Dogecoin no blows point. up, it really is to the moon. But when Dogecoin's down, it's kind of like Saquon Barkley and his injuries in his career. With the eighth pick. Eighth overall pick is Chainlink. NFL comparison, I'd say is Alvin Kamara. Like Alvin Kamara, Chainlink also has their own Airhead sponsorship. I uh, just kidding, but um, they do both have chains. Wow, these sparkles too. All right, <laughs> that was a stretch, but Chainlink really is trying to be like the internet of blockchain. Chainlink, what they're doing is launching from Ethereum and connecting real world applications and decentralized finance projects into our hands. And they are the bridge between the blockchain and us. Chainlink is a really, really great project. I'm very excited about it. With the ninth pick. The ninth overall pick, Uniswap the world's largest decentralized exchange. I'd say the NFL comparison for Uniswap would probably be Ezekiel Elliott because Uniswap relies on uh, tokens to transfer, right? If you want to exchange different coins like Ethereum for like sand in different online sites, you would use Uniswap. So Uniswap relies on different tokens to exchange and convert. The same way I guess uh, Ezekiel Elliott relies on his offensive line and his offense and receivers around him. So Uniswap is a great project like Ezekiel Elliott is a great running back. With the 10th pick. Number 10 was a controversial one for me, but I decided to go with Solana. There was a bunch of ones I was looking to put in its place, but I put Solana in there for one reason. Solana uh, uses what's called a proof of history concept, which I still don't really fully understand it, but the proof of history concept, think of Bitcoin as a proof of work concept, Cardano being a proof of stake concept. So this is something new, it's a proof of history concept. And to give you an idea how revolutionary this technology is, Solana actually can process more transactions per second than Visa or MasterCard. So I thought that was really impressive. Um, in the NFL comparison, I'd give Solana probably Trevor Lawrence, right? I know it's kind of silly to have a rookie quarterback in the first round, but I think that Solana is such a such a young project. Like, you know, Trevor Lawrence would be the prototypical NFL quarterback that has so much room to grow. So I really just wanted to put those two on the list for fun. Hey guys, so that was my first round mock. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, look, this is not financial advice. This is just for fun. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please, if you could, like, comment, subscribe, do all those things. And uh, you guys have a good one.